right, I'm Nick. Skyler and I are at the beach. Sun's starting to come up. We have the 106 MK. No fish finder, no nothing. It's a battery of motors and fishing poles. We aren't going to catch bait. It's actually surprisingly windy for how calm it is out here. Moon's still way up there. Maybe you can see it. We're just going to go out and try to catch our two red snapper. Kind of expected to be a little bit slow. We're not going to stay out here very long. Just catch two fish for each of us and get the heck out of here before it gets hot. So, we're going to film launching the little thing and off we go. Huh? I thought I, I could do it out there. Okay, we can work that. Like I, you know what? We might go for a swim. We're going to launch the MK without a paddle. Never been in it. Not necessarily familiar with it. Don't do this at home. Rudder. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, okay. oh no, yeah, no, damn. Probably no kids. Okay. Okay. Rudder's down. Motor's down. Oh, I don't have my kill switch, which is in here. Kill switch installed. How do I start? Wrong way. <laughs> We're off. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm trying to steer with my left hand over here. Well, left is left. Push left to go left. Right is right. Uh, let me put this kill switch on my life jacket. That's a really stupid location. If I put it on my pull tab for my life jacket, as soon as I move, <laughs> I, I'll kill the kill switch and uh, slid off the life jacket. Yeah, Three. Yeah. Are, are you sure? Five. Skyler says that he finally marked some fish. I'm going to go to him in reverse because why not? I'm not a good driver of the 106 MK. It's kind of loud in reverse. Oh well. I'm not scared of these fishings. Oh yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, Skyler's feeling confident. We are at location, I don't know. We had some fish finder technical difficulties. And I don't have a fish finder, so. The cool thing about it is we can just blame Skyler. Oh man, I need a motor on the left hand side. Oh, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? I was not ready for that. I had a bite. I was trying to drive. Oh, I suck. Worst motorized kayak fisherman ever. Oh, no. Fish on. Fish on. It doesn't have to be good. It's got to be red and, I don't know, 15 inches. I can see something down there. It ain't biting very hard. Oh, it's uh, not very large. Oh. Well, oh, I just tried to pedal. Did you see that? I tried to pedal again. I suck at this. This motor fishing is a weird experience. I want to turn. Okay, give it some power. All right, dude, chill out. Okay, look, first, first red snapper in the 106 MK. It's a giant. I'm not really too concerned about catching dinner. I've eaten and cleaned enough red snapper for, I don't know, I'll get some him on. Uh, for, uh oh, he's on. He's on though, so I was gonna move. I don't know why I'm gonna move. I don't have a fish finder. 
Well, we have a bunch of random spots out here. Uh, we don't have very much fish finder battery, so I'm just gonna try to catch a few fish in the 106 MK. It's uh, doing pretty good out here. It's definitely not designed for this. I wouldn't want to launch this thing in the surf in rough conditions. But hey, it'd be not too bad for trolling out here. It's not too heavy. Oh, that might be a better one. Maybe not, but they're hitting it hard. I'm trying to pedal again. I mean, I don't know, maybe you guys can see that on the video, but I've tried to pedal multiple times. I've got some pretty good head shakes though, but it just doesn't have the raw power that a big red snapper would have. Here's a funny one for you. You got a measuring board? I mean, that's a keeper, but you got a measuring board? I do not. <laughs> that's a keeper. Oh no! Oh no! Chill out! Okay, 106 MK. The fish have a lot of room to move. That's one snapper. Obviously, it can't be too difficult to catch a red snapper if we successfully did it without a fish finder. Skylar's way over there. We, we're using artificial loop. Oh man, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Too busy trying to drive. You should always fish grip them, especially when they have treble hooks sticking out of their mouth. He caught the side of the kayak. What a rookie. This is my first time. This guy, he caught the side of the kayak. This is a cluster. One thing about fishing in kayaks that you aren't familiar with is the fact that stupid stuff like this happens. That's why you should never take a kayak offshore the first time you ever sit in it. But it is what it is. One keeper red snapper down. And he's found a way to put the hook through there. All right, there he is. Not a monster. I will tell you that the 20 inchers are the best eating fish without a question. Uh, and I think that somebody, I'm not gonna take this home and clean it, okay? Someone's gonna be excited to have some red snapper for dinner. Get this hook out of him. I'll tell you what though, this dude, you don't gotta worry about hooking them if they eat like that. All right, we're just gonna toss them down there in the bottom of the kayak. We're just gonna let the camera roll. This thing is bent all kinds of up, but still doing the job. Um, are we anywhere near fish? Okay, so you're a vertical jigger, watch this. This is all I do. I didn't do anything, both fish, I just cast it out there. I let it fall, Skylar's on. I got a good eating size one though. I, that's, a, that's obviously a better fish than the first one you caught anyway. Oh, there it goes. We're getting a better hook set today. That's a little better, better fish. fish. That's a better fish. <laughs> We're getting better hook sets. Probably because they're eating better. They are, they are hammering that thing. Right, he's coming up. Keep constant pressure on him. Keep that pole bent. Don't touch the kayak with your line. Even how bad he wants to get back down there. Now, he's nowhere near the bottom because we didn't cast. We didn't drop it to the bottom, so don't need to go hard or freak out. I'd rather have the fish over here. That way you can turn the kayak back to the fish, right? Not a monster, but I hadn't seen him, so he crushed it. Oh, he was doing the spiral. He was gonna loosen the drag up a little bit. Remember, he's got trebles in him, so when he gets to the surface, kicking and flipping. Oh, nope, we didn't do too much flipping. 
must have decided he was done for. Okay, remember, if you care about dinner, don't do this. Smoke it. He's in. And that is a full video of catching a limit of red snapper in a 106 MK. No cuts, no editing. Did it on artificials. I don't even have a fish finder, so I don't even know what was below me. I was probably within 20 yards of Skyler the whole time. Get this stupid little thing unhooked. Won't come undone. Can't get it unhooked. Boom, the vibe right there. A little, what's it called? A Vertrex Max Nomad Design vibe. Yep. Look, Skylar gave me these a few weeks ago and told me about them. So I put that link to the Amazon thing up there. Skylar loves catching red snapper artificials. Uh, I don't know if he's had his second one yet. He's getting back in position. Yeah, I've done a already. He done released another one already. So there it is. Cool little lure. I've been using this same color. I don't even know what it's called. What's this color called? Uh, hollow shrimp. Something like that, ghost shrimp? Hollow shrimp, ghost shrimp, who knows? Uh, it is pretty cool. I'll put it in the description what color it is. Zero effort, we didn't stop for bait. We hadn't scouted out here. It's a random spot we hadn't fished in well over a year. Uh, quick limited red snapper. Skylar's on, let's turn it around. Oh, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, thanks for watching the video. We'll talk more about the 106 MK and how it did offshore in the future. We got it back up, about to crash. Oh, just kidding. We keep getting distracted. Keep getting distracted. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish. Oh, Ooh, that's a way better fish. Hopefully, I'm getting you on video. I have no idea what's recording. Let's see here. Ooh, man. Ooh. They're pretty angry right now. Ooh, good headshakes. That's a better, that's a better fish. Not bad for two guys. One fish finder who has, uh, you know, it's dead. And uh, kayak you've never been in before. Not too bad, not too shabby. The coolest part about coming out here to these random places is, well, there's nobody out here. Oh, yeah, that was going it's just us. That's an eater. The same color uh, vibe? Yep, same exact one. Perfect size eating fish. We've uh, told these the people that we were going to end this video like five times. <laughs> fish won't quit distracting us. I finally learned how to drive this thing. When we first started this, I ran in the sky like three times. Uh, you gotta get used to using the motor. I'm just a pedaler, okay? I tried to pedal like 10 times. All right, that's it. I think, uh, is that your second keeper? Uh, oh, I guess uh, Skylar has his first keeper, but we're gonna get off here anyways. The 106 MK is actually doing surprisingly well offshore. Um, I have some footage of having some waves behind me. It's very wide. We'll go into those details about how it did in another video. I'll spend some more time out here in you know, the coming weeks and we'll go from there. If you have questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.